Welcome to 487. It's a pretty decent 55 degree day. Kind of clear up there. It's, it's not bad. Not bad. 221. I'm on my way to actually the orthodontist where, you know, I had braces back in middle school, 6th and 7th grade or something like that. And then their whole retainer thing that I had to wear all the time for a while. And, and that's been at night. And they said the whole treatment plan at the place that I go to is uh, is like nine years or something crazy. So I'm just going in for the yearly checkup. I really hope everything's done. And they can take uh, take it and be done with it. But um, yeah, I should be there about five minutes. So I'm gonna go get that done. And uh, then we're done with Thursday, at least the hard part of it. But I totally remember being in sixth grade and having them say, oh, this is all over. You're gonna be driving yourself in here. And I thought, yeah, right. Well, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm driving myself to the orthodontist, so time flies, guys. It really does. It was easy. She's done. Uh, so now I'm over here at the grandparents' house, and uh, we're going to go look at some Hondas. You see this police car coming south with the mud. So much more headroom than the Buick. Really nice leather. Yeah, but the gas mileage, the mileage is... Well, yeah, this is the V8, but still, it's it's about what the Buick gets, 19 city and 20-something highway. Well, now, it, it, can you get this? We're looking at 6.15 p.m. and uh, see, am I facing east right now, but to the north, beautiful blue clear skies and we're up to nearly 67 or 60 degrees, 57 right now, it was 59 a little bit ago, so it's cooling down. Um, I'm going to head home and rinse the car off, as you know we had a little bit of ice and snow that one night, they put salt on the road, because that was a good idea. So I got salt all over the rocker panels in the bottom part of the door, so I'm going to clean that off. Not a full wash, I know I always say that, but it's going to rain this weekend, and it's already Thursday, so I don't want to have to deal with that. Uh, so I'll just rinse the salt off. But we looked at Hondas for like two hours, in particularly the Genesis and the Sonata, and he concluded that the Genesis is the car for him. And uh, he has not purchased it yet, but he's got it on hold. You know, they put the sold sticker <clears throat> on the dashboard. Um, but he has to move some money around because he always pays for cars in cash. So he's got to move money around. It's the 4.6 liter V8 Genesis in white with the tech package. It's almost fully loaded. I thought it may be fully loaded. There's a Fiat. Um, Anyways, that'll be cool. I don't know when he's going to have it, but the V8 is 385 horsepower. That's within 20 of what this is. Uh, that's a lot of power for him. And it's a 8-speed uh, automatic. It gets like 19 city and 25 highway. The way he drives, he'll probably get better than that, but I think he'll love it. Freaking right. All clean. Duh. Of course I detailed and dried it. Clean the wheels, exhaust, tires. Wheel wells. I put stones down on some of our roads around here. Had all this white stuff up in there, so now it's clean. And uh, it's going to rain Saturday, so. Oh well, looks like I'll be doing it again next week, but uh, we're going to be in the 70s Sunday, so. That's fine. Looks great now, though. Yeah. Catching up on some videos. Looks like we've got 14 down here. And uh, having chocolate and milk. I see an X1, an M6, and the 6GT over there. And, um, yeah, am. Uh, yeah. Does anybody else watch this? Looks like we're on top of things tonight. It's 11.03, and uh, I'm going to wrap this up here. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow morning on what will hopefully be an awesome Friday. Good night. Shut the fuck up.